Do I win a prize if I find blue bow geese? I wonder if that's like a game we should all play with ourselves. This is better than Goodwill, my goodness. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am here at Savers Thrift Superstore in Fairview Heights, Illinois. So I'm going to head on inside here and see what I can find at this store. And then after that, I'm actually going to go over to Goodwill and see if it's good at all. This is a large superstore, so let's see what we can do in here. Okay, I've got a cart, and now we just have to fill it. That's always the harder part of this trip. Getting the cart is easy, but to find things that we actually want, Let's see. Well, there's a flying duck. Wall plaque. Two dollars, fifty cents. Has a broken head that's been reattached. Love that for him. Are these for a fish tank? They're four dollars and fifty cents, whatever they are. Seashells in a bottle. Is that a clown? No, that's a man playing his instrument. Who thought that was a good idea? It's $4.50. Somebody wanted to put that on their wall at some point in their life. And now I just wonder who they were and why. But they had fun with it, I assume. This is the angel section coming up to your right. You'll see all of the angel items in all of their glory. Resin, ceramic. Oh, that woman. She is. She's an Irish lady, but her arm has been broken off. $5.50. Blowing the horn. Well, I don't think we're going to get any of that. Let's go around this way because there's more to this aisle over here. Okay. Here we go. Looks like they have some holiday items over here. They changed it up because this used to be more figurines and stuff. Now it's just, I don't even know what it is. Lots of different wood things. And then dolls and plates. There are some people on plates. Hmm. Well, at least you could put your mashed potatoes on their faces for $6.50. My goodness, that's expensive. $6. I mean, I didn't know Target practice was so expensive. That's $6. How about, how about for 25th anniversary? That's really dusty. How much would that be? $5. Oh, that's a bargain. Oh, we cannot forget all of the little baggies on the walls. They call it home decor. This is the home decor section where you can find this bird and you've been booed and ribbons. I'm looking for actual good stuff. That is the predicament here. I see lots of like little plastic holidays. There's actually a lot of holiday stuff here, surprisingly. And we're over it. I thought we were over it. Past Christmas. Ceramic snow people. All right, let's look this way. I feel like there's a lot more going on down there. Oh yeah, there was the mugs. Don't want none of those. And then the vase section. My goodness, just look at all the junk. I don't even know what has been happening here. They are cleared out. They must have had a blowout sale or something. Everything is gone. They have some Corel plates. This is the Rosemary Corel for $1.50. I'm not oh, I'm not sure about this one. It has little black squiggles on it. That one's $1.50. This is the blue onion pattern over here. Also known as Old Town Blue. You can get all six of these little luncheon plates for $5. Now, fun tip. See how there's like silvering on this plate? I have a tip for you. You can use Barkeeper's Friend, the powdered version, to get this sort of stuff off your plates. I have a link in my Amazon store. If you go down to the description below this video, I have a link to get to Amazon. It's under business supplies I use and recommend. It's like a little section on Amazon. I put together the Barkeeper's Friend. Very, very helpful. This is a loved one. Lovely. This is a lovely one. It's called 
Callaway print. You get all four dollars. You get all for four dollars. No, I was just talking about that. Oh. So the, oh, wow, these are bad. Somebody had really a lot of fun with their spoon. Yeah, Shoot. you can actually clean that off. That could be a fun hobby if you're like bored with life. You could just be like, I'm gonna clean old dishes. Here's some false graph. And that's $3.50. Little saucer, some salt and some peppers. So yes, this is false graph village pattern. There you go. Let's go around this way. So down this aisle, looks like they have kitchenware stuff all mixed about. Okay, so I guess they were just rearranging. That's why those shelves were empty over there. Ah, la moutarde. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? She's carrying some breadsticks though. And she's going to feed it to the tree of life. Who did this? Gallery. Ooh, it's fancy if it has the word gallery in it. I didn't realize how fancy it was until it told me. Gallery. All right, so do we want anything else? Probably not, but we'll try anyway. So, okay, now this is nice. Syracuse, China. So this is restaurant wear, the creamer and the sugar. That's actually adorable. $4.50 for the sugar. Oh, and creamer. Cool. And then the platter all by itself is $4.50. Something you don't see often is an apple corer. It'll core your apples. $4.50. That doesn't seem too bad. Oh, here's the, the matching cutting board for that uh, Callaway print. You know, we need to look at the fabric items and the artwork. So let's look at the artwork first. So you can see we have all of this. I see a lot of things with words on them and prints from the 90s and 2000s. So that's a no, we don't want. Do I win a prize if I find blue bow geese? I wonder if that's like a game we should all play with ourselves. And then the, what you do after you find the blue bow geese prize, you have to just drop it on the floor and let it break. Wouldn't that be so fun? <laughs> I know I'm triggering some people because you love these little guys, I bet, but I find them just kind of hilarious. I'm surprised they leave these knives in here so Turn accessible. around. Oh, it's on the back too. Just pull it out and go to town. They, they really I hope are. they don't go to town. Well, Pierre. They, they've got it to where a kid could pull that out of there. Well, easy. Of all of this fabrics, we're gonna look at all the fabrics. So I just walk by and look for things that look good, and then mm -hmm. we determine if we want them. That's how shopping works. So the Star Wars. I want vintage things. Let's see, there are some interesting patterns. Stripes, florals, the Golden Girls called. They want their curtains back. You know something I noticed about Golden Girls? Just about every single episode has a different tablecloth in the kitchen. Now you'll notice it if you haven't before. So I guess the set department had a great time with those tablecloths. Oh. No good. These look like crap. I don't want any of that. Disgusting. Awful. No thanks. Kid stuff. All of it. It's like little babies. No. All right, so I got nothing at Savers, but we're going to head on now into the Goodwill and maybe it'll be better. Probably not. Okay, so we're going to head over here to the light bulb section. There's a lot of bulbs. Walk here. right by the great. light bulb. They always do. It's always a light bulb. It's just so bright around here. I'm not sure. It's like a learning game. Circle goes on the circle. Check out this aisle. This aisle has all of the stuff that we look for in life, like mugs. Well, actually, we don't, but have a balanced meal. World market. Looking for vintage things that are great or good, since this is Goodwill. Dollar thirty-two. Hmm. <laughs> they do have a lot of mugs. Trouble is, I don't want any of them. Ooh, that's our fun one with the rainbow and the balloons. 
That's 90 cents. That's Russ. That's kind of collectible these days from like the 80s, early 90s, that Russ stuff. That's a cute mug, actually. This has a chalkboard on it. This is the other side of the aisle. Not really a whole lot going on with it. Hmm. There's a couple ducks. $1.32. Their pricing here is really not bad. This has a candle. It's a candle pumpkin. I mean, a pumpkin candle. $3.67. Hmm. Warm and cozy. Some vases. I don't know. Maybe this is precious moments. They're putting all their sticks together. It's a threesome. Let's see here. <laughs> sometimes, it's, it's, sometimes I delay laugh at myself. Brought out a cart. And there's this like little treasure trunk. $1.32 for the confectionery tin. That's out of England. It's missing a little latch though on the on the top there. A couple little tumblers. Cupkin. Well, there's some spoons. A dollar thirty-two for a little garden trowel. Or you can use it for cooking too, of course. <laughs> what it's actually intended for. Brain Quest. I remember that whenever I was young. Back whenever I was trying to improve myself. Now I just gave up. Oh, you could put your rolls in there. Bicycle. They also have more light bulbs over there. And then, is that a bread maker? Oh yeah, you can make all the bread you want. Watch out, Amish. You're getting replaced by a machine. Wireless crap, okay. Do you want a bread maker? I sure don't. What about a sewing machine? It's called Color Stitch. That looks special. I don't think I want any of it. Ooh, a dartboard. Well, a food processor. I'm really grasping at straws. Here's the art they've got, if you want to call it that. They didn't even bother putting their own picture in here. Dream big. Fold next week. Drinks. Sunday through Saturday. Oh. That's what you need right there. No. I protest. Oh, the shape of Illinois with glitter. Why would anybody want that? They're like, yay, Illinois. Wow. The best stuff behind glass. You can get some shoes, some Vera Bradley, a coach purse, a controller, a little satchel. Here's a walk. Mm-hmm. Some lotions. Some surgical masks. Those are exciting. Some games. A box of shoes. What's over here? Oh, they've got Longa Burger. Hair extensions. An anchor hawking bowl set. Multi-purpose. What does that do? It's multi-purpose. I think it keeps you dry or maybe it keeps you wet. I don't know. Something to do with moisture. All right, so we are going to stop in one more place. Here we are in Lebanon, Illinois at the Lebanon Flea Market. Let's head on inside here and see what we can do. Of course, the two thrift stores ahead of this was not great at all. So hopefully we can do much better here. Okay. There's a flower frog right here. So I think this is, oh, it's not locked at all. Let's see how much this flower frog is. This is an old pottery flower frog. $7. That's actually not bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. People collect these and I like that it's blue. It's an older pottery flower frog. You put this obviously in a pot or something like a little vessel and then it'll hold your flower stems up while keeping them in the water. So that's cool. Slag. Five dollars. It's an acro agate. Acro agate. If you look at the bottom, you could see, you know, it's hard to see in here. There's a little, there's a capital A with a bird flying through it. 
It's a crow. Because you know the name Acro, agate. Kind of a fun little word play. Ooh, piece of Fenton. Four dollars. I'm gonna get that. This is the Aqua Crest. Actually, no, this is Aqua Fenton with the Silver Crest. And a ton of milk glass down there. Well, that's good. Four bucks. And the Flower Frog already. This is better than Goodwill. My goodness. They have tools over there. Wow. It's been a minute since I've been to this flea market, and they've really... I don't know. It looks like there's a lot more stuff here. There's a Pyrex pink gooseberry right there. That's known as the Cinderella mixing bowl. They have, oh, $89 on it. I can see written on the tag under those balls. And then this one here is called the Snowflake Garland. And they have $20 on that one. Okay. Lighthouse items. Pins on nests. Those are milk glass. That's ten dollars. That's not bad either. Hmm. Let's go this way. Yeah, this is really good. Found a couple things. Now this is an old barn, so the floors are like all warped and stuff, and there's just dirt below them. They have all these old oil lamps over here, and then the hurricanes replacement hurricane shades. Hmm. Some lanterns. It's a Dietz. Blue one. That's the brand. Some toys and books. All right, we're going to go back up to the front area. That's where it seems like some of the better stuff is. Dishes are here. That looks like one of those molds, like Holland mold or something, or Kimple. Anything doesn't new? say. Anything Here's a little QP. It's amber glass. Yeah, then you're not going to have many people, but I think And it's a toothpick holder. Tomorrow. It's five dollars. I might have to get that one. There's all these other toothpick holders here. Wow, that doesn't really affect here. That's yeah, I'm going to get. I'm going to get that one. That's pretty. With Valentine's Day coming up, this is six dollars yep. for the heart bowl, and it's in the ruby, kind of like an amberina. Has a little bit of the orange in it, but mostly ruby. I'm gonna get that one for six dollars. That's really good. This is great too, and I've sold this before, but it's so heavy. That one is seven dollars. I I don't know if it's Viking, and part of me is wondering if it should have a lid as well. So there's that. Here's this ruffled bowl. That's pretty too. That's five dollars. I like that one. Look at the angles on it, and it's ruffled for five. I mean. That's really tempting. Where's the other one? It's in my, I have it under my arm here. I've gotten really good at holding things in yeah. odd places while I'm trying to record. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty. Oh, and the foil art over here. How pretty. So pretty. Here's my little pile. So I'm going to go ahead and check out now. I think I did pretty well. So I actually did way better at this last stop than I did at the thrift stores. So there you go. Pays to shop at the small stores like this in the small towns rather than sometimes those big chains like Goodwill and Savers. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.